Well, everyone, time for that UpNorthLive.com forecast and some messy weather out there. We've had and did have overnight into Thursday morning a lobe of snow passing through the area that dropped one to four inches of snowfall across northern Michigan. Behind that, we also had a little bit of patchy drizzle and freezing drizzle. The main system that will bring accumulating snow to the region is still down in Iowa as of Thursday morning. This is going to impact locations along and south of Highway M55. We're talking Big Rapids, Cadillac, Houghton Lake, Mayo, even areas around Ludington with the bulk of the snowfall. Further north, the amounts will be a lot lighter, and I'll show you that in a moment. But here it comes. There's the snow breaking out this evening, and this will continue much of Thursday night. Again, across our central and southern counties where the bulk of the snowfall will arrive and where it will be heaviest. Finally, by Friday morning, that system will depart off to the east, exiting Detroit by mid to late morning tomorrow. And then the sun arrives Friday afternoon. So just as quickly, some pretty decent weather coming in that sets up a chilly night as skies remain clear for the most part Friday night. A lot of single digit low temperatures, even a few spots below zero. And there's our Saturday. Not bad. We're looking at some sunshine to start the weekend as well. Here's the big picture showing where the snow will fall. You can see northern Michigan and central lower Michigan getting in on the snowfall. The big snows, however, are actually not going to fall here. They're going to be out east. They are looking at 20, maybe 30 inches of snow in isolated parts of Rhode Island, areas of Connecticut, parts of New York State. But for us here back at home, here's a look at the snow amounts through our Thursday one to three inches, maybe up to four in a few spots through Thursday. But then watch Thursday night. This is when the core of the snow arrives. And again, if you're on Drummond Island, you're only looking at an inch, but we could see eight to 10, including, as we mentioned, Houghton Lake, Gladwin, West Branch, Mount Pleasant, Beale City over through the Midland area and the Tri-Cities region, lighter amounts again off to the north. There's the Storm Team seven day forecast, snow heaviest to the south. We drop to zero. Friday night, a cold night of skies clear. There certainly could be some below zero ratings and then sunshine greets us to start the weekend.